I remember when I was making my retreat before my solemn vows, and in my mind I had already you know, come to the conclusion that I'm never gonna be a husband, I'll never be married, I'll never have so many of the familiar experiences that I had within my own family growing up, that that really wasn't gonna be a part of my life. And I had come to peace with that. I think what hit me hardest in uh, this, this preparation for final vows was the reality that I'm never gonna have kids, I'm never gonna have children. And I remember an incredible sadness in that moment and during that retreat. But it was a sadness that I really had to offer to God because if I was gonna be faithful to the vocation that I believed he was calling me to, I had to give him this weight that I was carrying. I mean, there was pressure because I know in our culture and in, in me, it, it was hard to commit. And I know it would have taken that uh, leap of faith to commit. Um, so with spiritual direction and my, um, my prayer, I was able to say, yes, Lord, let's do this. Like, it's not me alone. You're in this with me. I'm, I'm not alone. And for me, I describe it as a day of unconditional love. It was just a day to lay down my life for God as a Capuchin friar, just receive unconditional love back from God and from the whole community. They were almost all the brothers in the province were there. And it was a really beautiful day of turning my life over and receiving back unconditional love.